Don't you be bamboozled into taking them loans thinking that you can afford what they offering you as far as Bank of America. It's a setup. What's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. I just did a morning show and I was sorting through the press release, right? The press release from what Bank of America is announcing and that they're making loans and homes affordable for black and Hispanic families. There's so much wrong with this conversation that we have right now. And in, you know, times that I didn't really understand or I was much younger or, you know, I was surrounded by people that um, was in an echo chamber when I was much younger, I still would have deciphered this, I believe. But in times of past, I probably, you know, would have wound up being like, oh man, this is interesting. Might be, you know, good for people. But please don't get bamboozled into falling into this trap. Let me tell you something. As I started navigating through it, and this is a, you know, we got to get people used to reading the fine print and reading the details. When you go into a dealership and you go in to get a car, and if you're enticed by a commercial that you've seen on TV or back in my day it used to be a news uh, news ad or a newspaper print ad or you see something on Instagram that say yo zero money down you can drive away today don't even entertain it start looking at the fine print and don't be enticed by the car they're they're letting you focus on the car in order to make the decision that's not going to be best for you so one of the things that I've seen in the fine print we're going to go over several of them right now no money down only thing that I know that is free or no money down in most instances, nine times out of 10, they bad deals. They sell you a car, no money down. You go on to these websites and you get a firm or you get Klarna, no money down. They are gonna give you this loan. They are gonna give you this money up front. It's going to cost you a ton on the back end. First red flag, second red flag, <laughs> no PMI. And they're only rolling it out to specific communities. Los Angeles, Detroit, Miami, Charlotte. I don't even remember all of the other ones. No PMI. Here's the kicker though. PMI is private mortgage insurance. Usually what happens is, is if you're putting less than 20% down on a home, then they're gonna charge you private mortgage insurance and they're gonna ensure that they're protected, right? And so once you get that equity above 20%, then they can remove the private mortgage insurance. Here's the caveat though. This is the funniest part. Ninja loans. I call them ninja loans because that's what, what was happening in 2008. Ninja loans, no income, no job. They're telling you, family, think about this. They're telling you that you don't have to have a credit score and your credit score is not going to be relevant when it comes to having a conversation about this. Is that not something that you think you should be concerned about i'm just curious is that not something that you think you should be concerned about you don't think that you should have a credit score and that that shouldn't be a factor them trying to determine whether or not you can actually afford the property shouldn't be a thing at all oh okay so you telling me tell me where you can go to not have a credit score or a credit rating Outside of a payday loan, that's the only place I know that a person can go into and they not pull your credit score. And I don't even know if they pull your credit credit score with that. I'm not sure if they just pull it for the sake of pulling it just to be able to identify who you are, but they're not necessarily using that to determine whether or not they're going to qualify you, right? Or whether or not you can get the loan. Payday loans, the most predatory lending uh, style and institution and ways in which people make money is the only place that I can think of that they don't check your credit score. They said that you ain't even got to have a credit score. It doesn't matter what your credit is. What? What are you talking about? That ain't a red flag for you, so it does not matter what your credit is at all. The only thing that matters is whether or not you can come up with utility bills to, say, to show that you uh, pay consistent payments or um, show that you've been paying your rent on time. And you know how easy that is to finesse? You know how easy it is for you to be able to come up with that paperwork? And you telling me that all you got to do is show a little bit of income, show a little bit of income, and 
you don't have to have a credit score. And then somebody gave me some more game, and it took a little bit of digging, but I found it out. Somebody gave me some more game, and they said, Anton, you know what the interest rates on these loans are? At least 8%. In bad communities. What? At least 8% in bad communities. So let's look at all of the all of the red flags. First, they saying that they want to finesse you and make sure that you get a home um, and that they want to give you a path to home ownership. Okay, so what is in it for you? That's the first thing you got to ask yourself. What's in it for you? Second thing they said is you ain't really got to have a credit score. Third thing that they said is it's for black and Hispanic communities. No, give me the same thing that the white people is getting. Give me the same thing that Asian people are getting. Give me the same thing that Indian communities are getting. I don't want nothing that they ain't getting because I know that I'm getting a good deal if I'm getting the same thing that everybody else is. If I'm getting the same offers as everybody else, then that means that I'm not in a predatory lending environment. More importantly, here's the key. Isn't this the same thing that we started getting into when we wind up getting ourselves in this 2008 2007 2008 market meltdown is that you got a bunch of people that didn't fully really qualify for these loans i don't even know how they're able for able to finesse this i don't even know how the government is allowing this to happen wasn't the one of the caveats of bailing out the banks is that they made lending practices or they ensured that the people can actually afford what it was that they was getting into aren't there uh, 3.8 million people getting evicted out of their homes if they can't afford to pay their rent, then what do you think is going to happen as far as a path to ownership if they don't even have to qualify in the same way that everybody else has to, in which these ninja loans started coming into prominence in the first place? I'm telling you, it's a setup. I'm telling you, do not get caught up with the keys and the shiny red doors and all of this other type of stuff in order to try to justify, hey, I'm a homeowner. It's a setup. You need to learn uh, good spending habits, and as a matter of fact, I'm of the I'm of the ilk in that I don't think that most people don't get me started. I don't even think most people understand how money works. You're gonna be working for 30 years. I don't think most people should get 30 year mortgages. I think that that's stupid. That's egregious. They getting 106 106 month loans. They getting 30 year mortgages. Basically, you giving your whole life away in order to be able to pay property taxes, pay fees to the bank, make sure that you continue to pay egregious, egregious principal, right? I mean, egregious interest rates, making sure that you'll be able to pay egregious interest rates for the extended period of time. And for what? For the chance to say that you own a home that you don't even really own because you got to pay property taxes for the rest of your life. And if you don't, then they can take it anyway. Man, if y'all don't wake up and start smelling the coffee and stop getting bamboozled about everything that, that's shiny and sexy that's in front of you and then you're making a bad decision that you're going to regret for the rest of your life, everything that glitters isn't gold. Interest rates is bad. Qualifications is bad. Neighborhoods that they're giving it to you is bad. The only people that's benefiting is the ones that's actually selling you the program. Are you going for that? I think not. Listen, make sure you join the Patreon. The best day to join the Patreon is the first of the month. We got exclusives in the Patreon that's going to continue to drop in the Patreon. I got some heat coming for y'all that is not going to be available to the general public. All right? I love you. I appreciate you. And the reason I'm having this conversation with you is because I'm trying to prevent you from falling into this trap. And I know some people are going to do it anyway, but don't say that I didn't tell you. If you need to get in touch with me, email me at antondaniels413 at gmail.com and we're going to get you set up for a Zoom session. A personal call. I might again. I said it on the on the live stream. I might need to come to your church and talk to your people about financial literacy. I might need to teach them. Don't worry if I cuss or not. I'll make a couple concessions. I might need to go into a family meeting. Y'all might need to fly me out to your family so I can have a conversation with y'all about how y'all need to move a little bit differently and inspire your young men. All right. I love y'all. Appreciate you. I'm gonna holler at you later. Peace.